So this weekend is the big weekend, as Ben was just telling you before the break. And all week, we've been showing you some of our interviews with Oscar nominees. Naomi Harris and Barry Jenkins are both nominated for their work on Moonlight. The film was up for six awards on Sunday. I met up with the actor and director to talk about the film and its powerful story. Take a look. What happened, Chiron? Why you didn't come home like you're supposed to? So your character is kind of tough to like. I mean, you are rooting for the character the whole film, but it's a tough sell. Um, so how did you sort of dig into that? Oh my gosh, I did so much research. I had about a month um, between getting the part and going on set, and I knew that it was going to be a very short amount of time um, that I had on set. It ended up only being three days, so all of my prep work had to have done, been done before, you know. And I, YouTube was a great help, you know, googling crack addiction, what it's like to be a crack addict. There are amazing documentaries on crack addiction, particularly in the 1980s, um, and so I did a lot of that. I, I worked with an accent coach as well and we did our um, sessions over Skype because I was traveling because I was working on another project um, and a lot of working on Paula's physicality as well. Where's you, Sharon? Uh, okay, let's talk about the, the film structure. Cool. The fact that it's in sort of three separate parts, mm -hmm. why was that important to do? Um, I didn't want to do a coming-of-age story that sort of like played the way coming-of-age stories typically do, where you take all these little moments, you only get to spend two or three minutes, and something that probably changed somebody's life, you know? So I felt I'd rather take one of those moments in each stage of this, this, cat's, uh, this, this guy's development and really like explore it in fine detail. So we have a moment when the guy's 10 years old, another when he's like 16, 17, and then another, you know, 10 years later when he's uh, 26, 27. Okay, so I'm thinking that that would present challenges when it comes to casting. Yeah. Like, how do you even approach that? Was that a challenge for you? Uh, it was a challenge because I wanted, you know, it's the same character, but the characters become a different person, you know? So I wanted different people to play that character. Yet I wanted you to be able to, like, really connect the dots and see the continuum uh, through the three men um, who play uh, Chiron in the story. And what we found was, if we found people that the same eyes, you know, the eyes are the window into the soul, uh, that people would track the character and feel like when you see this man in the third story, you're looking at the same boy from the first story. Off screen, did you have the three of them interact at all? Never, never. I, I forbade them from <laughs> uh, from interacting, you know, because again, I feel like they, the, the, the evolution is so dramatic from story to story that they're very different people. Um, so I didn't want them to mimic each other. So I did, I did not allow them to spend any time together. Oh, no, 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 you gonna listen. To who, Ma? Huh? How do you not take that sadness home with you? It's really, really tough. It's really hard not to. Um, but because I, I shot it over such a short period of time, actually being able to stay in that sadness helped me. Remember the last time I saw you? Why did you feel so connected to this story? Uh, so it's Rob McCraney, the playwright, wrote a play called In Moonlight, Black Boys Look Blue, uh, and it was so similar to the way I grew up in the same neighborhood, our moms went through the same ordeal, um, that I just felt connected to it. It was like immediately I saw myself in Terrell's writing. You know, while I was filming it, there were a few scenes that were tough to create, but as a director, I, I feel like I'm always chopping wood, you know? I'm very tunnel vision, so it's kind of easy to get through the day. I ain't seen you in like a decade. Not what I expected. What did you expect? You can watch the Academy Awards Sunday night right here on CTV. It all starts with eTalk's Ultimate Oscar Guide at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. Head to ctv.ca for local listings.